Is the church essential to our salvation? Now, friends, this is a very important question, primarily because the church and its part in God's plan is so very much underplayed today. People are being told that the church is kind of an afterthought, that you can be a successful Christian without the church, but that it's good for you to belong to some church for even better spiritual growth and support. It's often regarded as a sort of holy club with which Christians can affiliate if they desire, but if they don't want to, that it's still all right. But what does the Bible say on this matter? Well, whatever our attitude toward or understanding of the church, the Bible is true, and what it says is authoritative. It is the Word of God, the mind of God, and the teaching of the Holy Spirit until the end of time. It will set us straight on all spiritual questions, including this one about the role of the church. Well, according to the Bible, the church is the only organization except the family in existence today, which was founded by the God of the universe. The prophet Daniel called it the kingdom set up by the God of heaven in Daniel 2.44. Jesus, the Son of God, came from heaven in order to build the church. He said in Matthew 16 and verse 18, I will build my church. And then in verse 19, he identified it as the kingdom of heaven. It is the only organization in the world today which has a divine law. All other states, governments, nations, and peoples are governed by human laws. But the law of the church is from God through his only son, Jesus. The Apostle Paul told the church that the gospel which he preached to the church and which would regulate the church in this world is not after man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. Galatians 1 verses 11 and 12. Again, the church is the only organization in the world that will last forever, long after this world has passed from the scene. Daniel foresaw the glory of the church in eternity, when he said, And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and it shall stand forever, Daniel 2.44. The Apostle Paul said the same thing, said, Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Ephesians 3.21 But finally, the church is the only organization in existence in which salvation from sin can be found. In his letter to the Ephesian Christians, the Apostle Paul showed how God foreordained the church from the beginning of the world. Paul then called it the body of Christ, Ephesians 1, 22 and 23. Then in the second chapter, he shows how God plans to reconcile all races of men to himself in Christ Jesus and in one body, which is the church, Ephesians 2.16. Now, to reconcile means to save or to bring back to God. And this is why the church is called the body that Christ will save. And he is the Savior of the body, Ephesians 5.23. Again, Luke tells us in his book of Acts that the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved, Acts 2 and verse 47. Friends, when God saves a person, he automatically adds him to the church. They are one and the same. It's the same process. And this is because the saved and the church are one and the same thing. Now from all of this, we see that the church is very much an essential part of God's plan to redeem mankind. And friends, can't you see the importance of the Lord's church in your own life. We see this since it is founded by God himself. It is the only organization that will last beyond this world and into eternity. And it's the only body to which God adds the saved because it is made up of all the saved. Friends, we thank you for joining us for our program today. We encourage you to give serious thought to the things that we have discussed. And we pray that God blesses you with a wonderful day.